The Hartland players were convinced Silas was offside, leading to unsavory scenes as they made their case to the referee. Then came the moment of the match. As Hartland broke forward with pace, Kofi was tackled in the box, but the ball fell kindly for Chinedu Ajoku, who thought he had given the visitors a crucial lead. The goal was disallowed by the officials, sparking wild protests from the Hartland players and officials. After several deliberations between the match officials, the center referee sounded the whistle, leaving the result of the match incomplete. So when center referee Folusha Ajayi whistle went off, the game didn't end. Inconclusive. That's what we have. That game between Heartland and Plato United. Let me quickly just tell you the story again. It was Heartland that scored the first goal. Plato United equalized. And then you saw that goal, Heartland scored. But the center referee said it was an off the player was in an offside position and so Atlanta didn't want that it was a very very crucial game for Atlanta because while mfm was playing against ifia and Uba in lagos they needed to also win that game to survive relegation okay let's talk about this one now it's very very delicate but we'll try to talk about it uh director of media Atlanta football club of Uri. Kajeta Ipokpara joins us now in the program. The program. Thank you so much, Kajeta, for coming around. Thank you, my brother. I mm. greet the audience. Mm. Let's begin with the basics. Heartland, you knew how important this game was for you against Plato United. When you saw the appointment of the referees and the region they were coming from, did you protest? Yes, we did, my brother. We did. We felt that uh, the same rule that said um, a neutral, a referee from a neutral zone should be the one officiating in a match between clubs. And then um, in this case, we are playing with a, a team from the North Central Plateau. But then uh, the teams that had interest in the outcome of our match are teams from the Southwest. So um, South, a team from Southwest and South South, Warrior Wolves mm. Mm. and uh, uh, MOFM. MFM. So yeah. the outcome of our match was uh, bound to uh, affect them positively or negatively. So we contacted the, uh, uh, the, 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 the appointment committee, uh, not just contacted, we, 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 we reported to them that we don't like this. But they reassured us uh, time and again. That was not only the complaint we had. In fact, one of the referees that came from Lagos as well, um, Moses Ojo, uh, then we had that uh, was on suspension list. Uh, we also mentioned that, but they told us it was a different Moses Ojo. Well, it is from the same committee, it's from the same people. What can we do? Mm. And uh, we knew we were in a very precarious situation. We did not want to jeopardize anything, so mm. we decided to play along, um, to go ahead and play. We are looking actually for support from the wider Nigerians, and uh, we didn't want anybody to say, Hartland did this or did that okay. to deny ourselves. So you needed to go on to yes, play the game. Yes. Did your team abandon that game? Well, we did not. Um, the video evidence we uh, produced showed that there was um, uh, objects that w that we are thrown into the pitch while the game was on. Um, the Before we get to that, explain this to me. Look at your players just crowding and going on with your centre referee. Don't you think at that time you need only your your captain because they need to stay focused. But this is also the discussion, the second goal score that was disallowed. But don't you think your players also lost it at the time they are always, always protesting instead of staying focused on the game? My brother, if you 
see what happened in Joss. These people, these players are also human beings, and when they are playing, their adrenaline, adre adrenaline is always up. So uh, there was nothing anybody could do from the sideline at that moment. What the referee did, even uh, the spectators were not happy. The majority of spectators were not happy. Uh, outside of the uh, people that call themselves uh, supporters, you know, who were brought in, even some were urchins, you know, uh, that, that came in, that never visited any uh, football venue before, but they were brought in, mobilized and brought into the pitch to, to, the, to the stop heartland and to intimidate people, uh, you know, the things that happened. Uh, the goalkeeper of Plateau United was beaten up. The referee saw all this. She had every right to have uh, ended the game right for a very long time, even by first half, when Hartland was uh, leading by one goal. The referee had every right to stop the game. To stop the game because there was encroachment. The, the uh, goalkeeper of Plateau United was beaten on the pitch when he was returning if for a second are, half. If you could continue from there, why did you not choose to stop at that time? That because it became unbearable. Uh, an offside goal was uh, counted for Plateau United. So you then a good effort. The goal you are seeing again mm. was again denied. Hartland, the penalty was denied. A uh, good goal was also denied. Mm. There was nothing else to do. Mm. Oh, we were asking ourselves, why, why, we, why, why were we here? No, we, we, we pro that, that's what the players were doing. Yeah. What you just saw on, on the screen what was what the room? players were doing. Yeah. And um, the crowd now encroached a second time. Mm. That was what happened. Mm. Because people were brought in to make sure they distract our team. People were brought in from um, the rumors we had. Um, not legend. even by Plateau. You are legend. Not even by Plateau United, mm. by mm. people who had interest in our game. Okay, okay. So you're saying you are legend that they brought people that exactly. come and distract exactly. you. Exactly. Okay, now I'm saying that this is first. This, this shouldn't be. You don't go into the face of the referee like that. Your players go into the face of the referee. And again, you can wait to protest after a match. Why? It's the part of you leaving the game that. Aram after. Why are we having that at this stage of our league my, my brother, see, we waited when the beating was on. We waited, we were patient when the throwing, in, the throwing of objects uh, was on. Mm. We waited when the offside goal was counted. Mm. We waited when a, a, an infringement will occur against Plateau. The referee will rule against that land and still move the, uh, the, the, the ball more than uh, three to four yards mm. into Hartland half to make sure that the Plateau team scores. You understand? So well, we are patient and it go to a stage, there is always a stage where the human mind, you uh, know, these people I told you are human beings. Of course. And, and, and you see at least when they are on top of their form, yeah. uh, on top of their game, sometimes the adrena adrenaline goes up. Mm. It's difficult to control. Okay. So tell me, what's the update? What, are they, what have you said to the LMC and what did they say to you? Bro? Well, immediately after the game, as the rule prescribed, we gave them a, an original a master tape of this uh, very match. We gave it to the match commissioner. It's mm. usually given five minutes at most after the game. And then we still went ahead to um, do our own copy, the one we managed to get. Okay. And, and still uh, went to Abuja to deposit it. I did that in person. And we also wrote a protest letter. But of course, you know, um, the, they have been working under a system. They will tell you, um, I do not want to deny anything from the uh, league management company. They have been doing well. They will say the framework. Mm. They will tell you the framework. And so their framework says whenever something like this happens, that uh, they will have to reel out punishment. First of all, yeah. uh, to whatever they perceive mm -hmm. or whoever they perceive, mm -hmm. they say, so they have reeled out this uh, thing. They said they are de uh, deducting three points yeah. from Heartland. Um, they said they have uh, watched the tape, irrespective okay. of uh, what they saw on the video. Mm. Um, and the same thing they saw on the video was what Nigerians and even non-Nigerians mm. have been commenting about. Okay, has, has Heartland been relegated? Well, um, that's what they say. But we 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 we, we are watching. That's what if LMC the LMC is saying. says Atlant is relegated, well, they just go to the NNL. Well, that's what uh, uh, the league management company is saying. And you're not accepting. Well, how can we? Um, but we have a little power. Um, tomorrow we will uh, converge in, in Oweray, the 
management will converge and uh, deliberate on the decision of the LOMC mm. and uh, take further action. Uh, but I want to tell you that Thailand is determined to drag this matter okay. uh, to the highest level. And that's what I, that's 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 what I want to understand. Dragging this matter, 15 more minutes to be played. The LMC comes and says, "Okay, come and play this game." Will Atlant file out to play? 15 more minutes. Well, under as long as there is a free and fair atmosphere. So if you can play that 15 minutes, why did your players walk out of this? Match? Because the players did not walk out. There was no free and fair atmosphere to Continue. conduct this match. So when this match was conducted under a very violent and intimidating atmosphere. That's what we are saying. Mm -hmm. If, if a, a goalkeeper was beaten up, you ask a question, what was the kind of security arrangement? Mm -hmm. For instance, why, why, why could it happen? If those objects, of course, they could play this tape and show you where they were picking objects in the middle of a game. Mm. They stopped the game and we are picking objects. The uh, uh, second assistant referee, Moses Ojo, mm. ran into the pitch because they, the missile was coming from his end of, of the pitch. So he ran into the center and uh, the game was stopped. And then they, we had to wait for like 12 minutes for them to clear the pitch of those uh, weapons. Mm. Now, if, if you could play a match under that condition, would you say you have played under, under football rule? Mm. If this kind of goal was called and it was not counted, my brother, how do you say referee's uh, decision or uh, discretion? Referee's discretion comes after the football rule has been applied. You first apply the rule, it is where you have doubt that you now say referee's uh, dis discretion. When, he, when did the referee's judgment could, 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 could split the judgment, could, could split the case? Okay. It's when you have applied the, the, the rule. The, in this case, the rule was not ap ap applied. Okay, so you, you, you've, you've stated clearly that the LMC, they have communicated to Atlanta that your team has been relegated and you are contesting it. Yes, uh, of course. I, I, yeah, I have received that report mm. um, from my office. You know, we are, you know, we are based in Oweri, yeah. and I'm in Lagos right now. Mm. I've received that communication, um, and we are going to deliberate on it and mm. know the next line of action. Uh -huh. Because we are fighting, um, not because um, we are the victims right now. We want the world to know. We also want to contribute to the change yeah. in this uh, sector. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about Heartland and this season. But what, in all of this, don't you blame the management of Heartland for what has happened to the team? Well, we had our own problem. Our own problem does I'll not just, warrant LOMC or we, the officials of this match to come into, to it. Come into it.